it's Annie from Vintage Lace Journal and welcome back to my channel. Um, before I start my video I'd just like to say a massive hello to all my new subscribers. I'm so grateful for you for joining my channel um, and leaving such lovely comments underneath my videos. It's been so nice to read them and to find out that people are watching from all over the world. I'm in the UK so it's absolutely amazing to know that something you create in your craft room is inspiring and reaching lots of other people. So thank you for those lovely comments and um, yeah welcome back. So today I'm going to do another 12 by 12 project and um, these little one sheet wonders I found really popular and they're just so easy to make. This one is even better because you can use single sided um, cardstock. Now this is a project I saw Liz the paper project do so I'll hopefully link that below um, and I saw it and thought wow that's brilliant I'm going to obviously use that design to make the outside of this project and then decorate it in my own way. Now for this project I would say don't use a heavy cardstock this is kind of like um, I don't actually know it because it's a really old paper pad but it's not really thick cardstock but it's not really thin paper it kind of like needs to be in between the two if that makes sense um because when you fold it over you it kind of like bulks it up so first of all we have our 12 by 12 piece of paper and we are going to score that nice and easily in half straight down the six inch mark okay then i'm going to turn my paper 90 degrees and I'm going to score it again at two and a half inches. Then at seven inches. And then at 10 inches. There we go. So I'm just going to move my scoreboard out of the way. Now, as I just had that, I've just done my scores, my scores that way, so two and a half, seven, ten. This little part at the top is going to actually be cut away. Okay, so, sorry, it's not going to be cut away, it's going to be cut from the top down to that first six inch score line. Okay, so I'm just going to fold that in half, first of all, making sure my corners meet. And then scoring. Um, Really take your time when scoring because we're going to fold it in half. You need to make sure that all your edges do meet up. And then just fold again and burnish all those score marks. So do that that way. Again, make sure these two edges are really lined up and then go across. And then the last one at the bottom. Okay, so it might be a bit easier for me to see the score lines here now. Okay, so I'm going to put my shorter score line. So this was my two and a half, um, seven and ten. This top part here um, is the one I'm now going to cut. So I'm going to cut down from the top to that first score line there. I'm using scissors today. I'm being brave. There we go. Okay, so with the top part over here, I'm going to be gluing that in a moment. But before we glue anything down, on my right hand largest panel here, this one here I'm going to make a notch because this is going to be a pocket on the back and again I'm just eyeballing that I'm very brave today and I'm going to make a smaller notch just in this section down here because again this will become a pocket a little bit um, of a small notch there okay so so far it looks like this so now we're going to come down to our gluing part. So I'm going to glue this section up here. Now all of this needs to be glued up to the score line at six and the score line down here. I'm then going to glue this section down here below the notch because this will make a pocket here. So some are glued up again up to that score line down the side. So glue down there.
end up there. Now, to fold this, and actually fold it across the six inch line to join these two halves together. And again, making sure that those lines are nicely joined with no edge showing. So if I turn this over, it should look like this. So you've got your notch mark here and your notch mark here. Okay, so now we've got this, I'm going to glue this section down. And again, gluing all of that section down because it's going to make our top flap. A really nice push down, get all that glue into the fibres of the paper. Okay, so there we go. Now, I'm going to turn this, let me get this head around this. This part is going to come down. The larger tab is going to become your, sorry, you need this, sorry, I'm talking to, I'm thinking to myself out loud here. This part with the notch here needs to go on the back because that's going to be a back pocket. Okay, so what you then need to do is you need to put this top flap up, like that, and this flap will then come down like so. And then we've got our last flap here. That is then going to come over this way. To create our top flap. Ooh. And I'm just going to spend just a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, just really burnishing all those creases. I'm hoping this makes sense. Okay, so let me just open that up again. Okay, so your tab bit goes onto the back. Fold that piece up, so you'll have that piece there. You fold that flap down, so you've got a pocket in here. Fold this piece down, you've got a pocket in here, and then you fold that bit down for your top. Okay, now before I do my next piece of glue, which is gluing this bit together onto here, I'm just going to go ahead and round these corners here and these corners here just to give that a softer look. She says oh, it's quite thick when these obviously two bits are together I think it's because my glue is still wet the pressure of a live video okay there we go so I have my rounded corner here, rounded corner here. So the last piece of glue I'm going to do is lift that flap up and I'm going to glue this part here down either side to create that pocket at the back. So come in with the glue again. I'm just going to hold that down while that just takes. There we go. And that is the basis of the outside of this little one page wonder. So you have your top flap, you have your pocket in here, and then you open it up to have your second pocket in here. And on the back, you have another pocket in here. Just going to wait for this glue to dry before I move on. So the beauty of this is, obviously, because it was um, single-sided paper, the only little piece of white you'll see is this part here, which is quite nice because obviously it lets you know that that's a pocket. And then you've obviously got that little part on the back um, there as well. That's finely stuck. Okay, so in this paper set, there is some beautiful flowers that go with this. So I'm now going to have a go at decorating this.
So these flowers I'm going to cut out and I'm going to use them to stick on in here. And then I'm also going to bring in some lace to do some um, decorating on the outside as well. So I'm just going to pause this video just while I get some bits and pieces together to decorate this. So the first thing I'm going to add, I think it'd be quite nice on these flaps here, is to add some lace. So I've got some thick lace for the top part. Um, this was from our local works, if you're UK. That was £2 for um, two metres of lace. And then on the bottom part, I've got some smaller lace, which I've just got from our local haberdashery, that I'm going to put along the bottom part here. So first of all, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to put this on here. So pop that across to there. And just trim. And again, obviously, you can use whatever you've got in your stash. I'm just trying to think, well, I'm actually going to glue the back of the lace on these little bobby parts. This does dry clear. Um, so I'm just going to pop some glue on the top section there. So bring that in, put that down, there we go, and then on the bottom section here, again I'm just going to pop some trim. Again, just put a fine little piece of glue down, which will all dry clear. There we go, pop that one on there. Lace is always one of those funny things to glue down. Got our lace on our top and our bottom part there. Then I'm going to fussy cut one of these flowers out. I think I'm going to stick that one up there. Or shall I have a white one? Mm, pink or white? I'm going to go with a pink. There we go. So I'm just going to stick that one onto there. I'm going to leave the edges of the flower sticking up because I think that would just look quite nice rather than gluing it all down. Pop that there. It's always good to use these corner parts. Um, obviously where it's Gone, the pattern's gone off the paper. There's no reason why you can't still use that and just do the same principle on the inside of your project. So instead of having a whole flower, just have it coming off the edge. So I think I'm going to glue that little brown dot there and just have that coming in on the page. So that's my top flap decorated. I'm happy with that. So this part I'm obviously going to not decorate because that's now my um, little pocket. So I'm going to open up this next flap here and I'm going to do some decorating just on these parts here. Now remember anything that you do on here will be seen on this part here. So I might just for now put a little mark just there which I can rub out. And again, use some of these flowers. I use this brown one. Yeah, 
There we go. So I'll just send a couple of those flowers overlap them there. Then we've got a flap here. Oh, flowers falling off. Just put that a bit higher so it's not on the lace because obviously it doesn't like sticking on the lace. A bit higher. And the next thing I'm going to do is I have this paper which is still of the same part of the range. And I'm just going to create a tag to go in here and then a journaling card just to go on the back of here. So measuring with my ruler, I'm going to have my tag about two and a half inches by three and a half. Okay. That can go in there. Might make two of those. Plenty of room. And again, I always bring in a tag I've already got and just trim off those corners. Leveling up the top and the side. And once I've done one, I can do the other. And just put my hole in. There we go, so I'll just pop some ribbon on the top of those and I've got two little cards to go into there and then on the back, like I said, I'm going to make a larger journal card with the same paper and I'm going to make this uh, three and a half inches by five. So... Five inches wide, and I'll just corner around that with any journaling cards. It just looks nicer when it's got rounded corners. And what I might use is one of these. Um, to create a tab so rather than putting a hole punch in because it's got coming in at that little hole just fold that in half and then pop that on there as a little tab so just glue the little top bit down the bottom And that will slot in the back, like so. Just going to bring the camera up a bit. So there we have our little folder. So we've got our back pocket with our tag, journaling card in there, front with some lace, two little tags in there, and then I'll obviously make some more little tags to go in there. Um, I found these little tags at a craft shop, so I thought were quite sweet. So I might just decorate those and pop those in there. 
so all of that from one sheet of paper again a little one sheet wonder for you and obviously you'll use your own papers your own um embellishments love to see what we've been creating so if anybody wants to tag my channel in um if they make something like this and they do do youtube videos or you're on instagram um please feel free to tag me vintage lace journal 75 um, and i'd love to be able to see what you're making so hopefully see you all again soon big hugs bye